So I think it's two things. I think it's that I get to be at the cutting edge of discovery. And I think it's that I, I get to look at data that no one else has seen yet. I suppose, well, I suppose that's <laughs> it's the same with all scientists, really. So I work with data that's been collected by the LHCB detector, which is one of the four main detectors on the LHC ring, which is located out in CERN in Geneva. Um, basically the LHC ring houses two energetic beams of protons that are brought into collision at four interaction regions around the ring. Now when, when these protons are brought into collision, well, one of two things can happen, either the protons actually interact with each other or they pass on through. Now in the case that they interact with each other they can actually go on to make many more particles and many many exotic particles whose properties we'd like to study. And one such particle is the Z boson and it lives for a very very short time before decaying to more stable particles, long-lived particles that we can measure inside our detector. Um, so our detector, the point of our detector is to measure the energies and momenta of these long-lived particles. A typical particle detector has, has a layered structure and each layer performs a specific task. So on the inside of a particle detector typically you'll have these tracking stations which will track the trajectories of particles. And if you like you can, you can join up the dots for the, the, the signals that the particle leaves in these particular layers. Then another feature of all particle detectors would be a magnetic field. Using the tracking stations and the magnetic field, we can work out what the momentum of the particles were. Then another essential feature of a particle detector is, are the things called calorimeters. And essentially the calorimeter will measure the energies of the particles by breaking them and somehow robbing those particles of their energy. I concentrate on measuring the probability for a Z boson to be produced in any given proton-proton collision inside the LHCB detector. I then compare to state-of-the-art theoretical predictions. The result will either support our models or inspire new descriptions of how elementary particles behave.